What if you combine Power Rangers and the boys? Using you know the show that you used to watch on JetX or Disney as a child based on the Japanese counterpart Super Sentai? Where heroes use the morphing grid to transform into ninja looking superheroes with different colors and save the day from bad guys? And the recent superhero show and comic series about the commercialization of an entire race of superheroes where they're glorified, idealized, but in reality they aren't like what people think they are at all. I am better! You know the saying, never meet your heroes, and this anime or manga might just be right under that very ideology. We've had Love Before World Domination which shows an interesting twist in the Sentai genre with romance comedy, blurring the lines between good and bad, heroes and villains, and now we have this. Following not a hero but the villain, not even the big bad boss level monster but a weak mob character. You know those basic NPC villains in every Power Rangers story? But to understand this mob character's drive and motivation we have to go back to the origin story of how all of this came to be. 13 years ago our world invaded by an army of monsters in a floating castle and humanity's last line of defense the Ryujin Sentai Dragon Keepers which roughly translates to Divine Dragon Ranger Dragon Keepers who destroyed this army in the span of a mere year. Too easy but hey where's the fun in that? Now here's the real kicker, instead of completely annihilating them the dragon keepers kept them alive as prisoners to make them act as villains of the week in front of the general public, kind of like a little circus act or show to make it seem like they're still a threat, ending the performance with the dragon keepers whooping them every sunday, a constant display of shameful defeat, only increasing the popularity of these dragon keepers, there's a whole system behind it all, each colored ranger has a whole group of rangers under that same color, training schools, pro programs, merch, you name it, basically it's a whole industry now, until one of these bad guys, D, gets tired of all of this, tired of the constant humiliation and manages to escape, transforming himself to look human and making the decision to infiltrate the dragon keepers, to destroy them from the inside despite having such a weak body, and I'm saying this generously, even a weak punch can cause this guy's body to break, having to go through similar training and hide any weaknesses and pretend to fit in amongst an unstable bunch of people that are actually also super strong, so you can imagine how these training programs are designed. But fortunately he's not alone in his grand quest, there are two other actual rangers that decide to help this poor fella for their own reasons morality or a sense of justice. I'll leave it at that so you guys can enjoy it for yourself but man I love this character, Yumiko Suzukiri, who's obviously under the yellow ranger if that naruto like outfit wasn't obvious. I think what surprised me the most is the fact that it's written by the author of Gotobun no Hanayome or the quintessential quintuplist Negi Haruba. Man is branching out from the romance genre and made this really fun story, once it picks up it really picks up. Things get quite intense, the politics, the drama, the strategizing, the various ideologies of different characters through different circumstances, both quote unquote good and bad. And honestly I'm really starting to to like the trope of making the story in the supposed villain's point of view popular, the protagonist being an anti-hero maybe, blurring the lines between evil and good, who's the actual villain here? Is it the people exploiting the situation or is it whoever started it first, or the people unknowingly or knowingly supporting them? Lots of moral shenanigans that come into question, seeing the world inside the pages of a manga from a lens outside of its propaganda. It's like being a child with hopes and dreams, stories that are meant to inspire with heroes. In my experience waking up early on a saturday morning to watch the new episodes of Power Rangers, wanting to be cool like those colorful ninja dudes on my television screen and then growing up, having faced the real world and being able to understand the villains with a brand new story that puts a funny little twist in the very same thing I've watched as a child. And above all I love the damn art style, hopefully the anime keeps the quality up but it seems like it will from what I can tell in the preview so far with scenes like this but you never know. I'm curious what they're cooking up since no actual release date has been announced aside from it being sometime in 2024. My only complaint is the fact that they changed the title of Sentai Daishikaku which translates mostly to Ranger Reject, Sentai meaning Ranger and Daishikaku meaning Great Failure or Reject but for some reason they changed the English title to Gogo Go Loser Ranger. I guess I can see the appeal to it given the Gogo Go Power Rangers meme but I still think Ranger Reject sounds way cooler. Yeah that's about it as always thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video leave a like and if you're new here hit subscribe for more anime, manga and japan related content it really means a lot. Somehow in this year we reached 500k subscribers all thanks to you guys which is insane for an anime and manga channel, it's something I never imagined would have happened but you guys made it possible. Again thank you so much, this will probably be my last video for this year so merry christmas to everyone and a happy new years but I'll still be uploading daily short videos so look forward to that. Anyways like and subscribe, like and subscribe, bye bye, bye bye, subscribe, peace.